Hi, I'm Luis Ortega from Barcelona for PCR Online. Today I have the pleasure to uh, host uh, Dr. George Blakoyanis, which is an interventional cardiologist in the Netherlands, in Utrecht. He presented in the TCT Connect to 2020, a late baking clinical trial about the compare cross trial. And I want to ask you, George, which are the main findings, uh, taking account also the methodology of your trial that you presented and was also published in circulation? Thank you, Louis. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for inviting me. So. Um, the compare cross trial uh, um, had the question to see whether tablets, P2Y12 uh, inhibitor tablets, uh, in a crushed form could add to the acute um, treatment uh, in STEMI. So here in the Netherlands, uh, as you might know, we uh, treat all the patients with P2Y12 inhibitors in the ambulance. But still, as we know, the P2Y12 uh, inhibitors, which are administered orally, have a slow onset of action. So by crushing, we know that the onset can be uh, faster through increasing of bioavailability and more potent. Uh, this has been shown before. So what we did was in the ambulance, we randomized the patients one-to-one -to, -one to either crushed or integral tablets of prasugrel, loading dose, 60 milligrams. And uh, then we transferred the patients to the interventional center where they would undergo primary PCI. The primary endpoint was the TIMI-3 flow in the infarct-related artery at first angiography and a serial segment resolution one hour after PCI. Secondary endpoints were platelet reactivity, uh, clinical outcomes, other angiographic uh, markers uh, of reperfusion, and obviously the safety endpoint bleeding. So this was the setup. The main results was that crushed tablets of prasugrel administered pre-hospitally don't improve either the TIMI-3 flow in the infarct related artery pre-PCI or the ST segment resolution at one hour. So the primary endpoints we did not reach. However, what we see is that we increase significantly platelet inhibition as measured just before PCI. And we can thereby decrease the proportion of patients who have high platelet reactivity at the beginning of PCI by one third. It was 62% in the integral group, and this was reduced to 43% in the crush group. Many thanks. Now I, I want to ask you some some questions to so, so make some comments on the trial. My my first question, George, is uh, what do, do you recommend in clinical practice now after compare crush? Uh, you what you do in the Netherlands in your clinical center? What do you recommend for the colleagues in the in the community? So uh, if we move away from the, from the pre-treatment part, uh, we know the potent P2Y12 inhibitors, um, they reduce the intra and post-procedural thrombotic events. So this is an important uh, part in STEMI care. And this continues to be a central part of treatment in STEMI patients, also after compare crush. Um, here in the Netherlands, we're gonna continue pre-treating. It, it makes biologically its uh, sense to do this uh, since they need that long to start working. Now, regarding the crushed, there are two ways you can approach it. Uh, uh, I'm doing sometimes in the cath lab when I have to uh, load a patient natively, I sometimes crush. If it's a complex PCI, a lot of metal goes in, um, I, I will uh, I want to have the, the fastest onset. So you can say, uh, compare crush shows that crushing tablets is safe. So we're not doing anything uh, uh, bad to the patient or increase the risk. While we have a modest but significant uh, increase and in, uh, faster onset uh, in platelet inhibition, that's the one. Obviously, I understand also that we have another group uh, in our interventional community who will say, well, you didn't reach the first, uh, the primary endpoints of this uh, uh, trial, so crush doesn't help us. Well. Yes, I understand this part. However, the endpoint, the primary endpoint, was was a high bar, right? To increase by oral P2 by 12 inhibitors, uh, markers of reperfusion was a high bar, and it was kind of an uphill battle once you work with 
uh, all anti, uh, uh, antiplatelet uh, uh, tablets. So I understand also these colleagues uh, uh, who say, okay, you know, uh, I'm just going to do what I uh, what I did before, and I'm going to give them integrally. Now, looking at the data, and we're going to go uh, deeper, obviously, and, and going to do sub analysis, but. I think especially the crushing especially uh, might be beneficial if patients have received morphine derivatives. There we don't see uh, with, the, with the crushed ones that uh, there is a, a significant interaction with morphine which has been shown before. Now we ask ourselves how, how does it come? Uh, and, but we see also that another um, large trial which specifically looked at the morphine interaction in pretreatment, this is the on time three trial, showed also that in crushed Ticagrelo in this study, morphine doesn't reduce platelet, um, doesn't have an interaction uh, in the action of um, crushed Ticagrelo, right? So that, this is important. I, I, I will say my opinion also. also. It's, it's only my opinion. I believe, you know, as you mentioned, I agree with you when you are in your lab. Uh, I believe it's, a, it's feasible and it's okay to do it. But uh, I, when it comes to the pre-hospital setting, I believe, you know, putting another piece of, uh, of action in, the, in all the steps you have to do in the STEMI network, maybe I will not do it. But I agree with you, if you are in your lab, you are losing the patient, you are doing a complex high-risk procedure, it, it makes sense, uh, at least from a pharmacological point of view. And you partially also answer one of my following questions, that was, what was were you planning doing with the, the data set you have uh, built with the Compare Cross? You are looking at the morphine, and you were doing also another type of analysis? Absolutely. Uh, so what we um, presented now at TCT Connect was uh, obviously the primary endpoint and uh, some secondary endpoints, but we have uh, still more to look at. We have um, done platelet reactivity testing in all patients, in all 727 patients at four pre-specified time points. So all this data is going to uh, give us uh, uh, give us more insight in what's happening with the crushed ones and the integral. Um, what's very interesting for us to look at the data also from the aspect that to see what happens if we have uh, fast responders. Uh, if we get uh, uh, under a certain uh, threshold of um, plated reactivity, are we then reaching uh, uh, the endpoints or, or several endpoints? Can we show that uh, the procedure becomes more safe? This is certainly interesting uh, hypothesis generating, obviously, but uh, interesting for the next steps. Okay, I see. And, and that comes co or connect with my following question that what it, if you believe that you know, these type of studies analyzing uh, crochet or versus integral tablets of P2I12 was a dead end or they, they were, there were no more road in, in behind. And I, you, I, by your answer, I, I believe you are saying, yes, we have more, more to, to go on and do research in, in, this, in this field. I, I want a, a comment with you, I want to ask you, because uh, uh, as we, the PCR online, did an extensive cover of the, of the meeting, of TCT Connect meeting to, in social media, especially Twitter, and a lot of people was, was commenting that uh, your data so yes, that we can administrate this uh, this way to people that cannot swallow. We can use crush tables in people that cannot swallow. But reviewing your rational design paper, I, I believe it's maybe not true. So I, I want to ask you, the, the PI, what do you think about this this issue? So uh, indeed, it's a uh, it's a common practice uh, that uh, crush tablets uh, are used uh, through a gastric tube to give to patients who can't swallow, who are unconscious, out of hospital cardiac arrest, intubated patients, and so on. Uh, this uh, is done when uh, we don't have Kangrelor in the cath lab, um, and sometimes uh, in conjunction with the GPI, with the glycoprotein inhibitor. Um, but this uh, certainly varies from cath lab to cath lab and practice. Anyways, um, but this is not what the Compare Crush study looked at. 
It's not about the out of hospital cardiac arrest uh, patients and the patients who couldn't swallow were, were excluded from the compare crush. It is really a study uh, uh, in acute STEMI in a pre hospital setting, treatment in the ambulance, and uh, uh, both, both arms were in the ambulance. That's also important because it has been also in social media. So I've seen that um, uh, it's commented that, uh, well, pre-treatment or no pre-treatment. This was not a study which looked at pre-treatment or no pre-treatment. We treated every patient in the ambulance. All patients were uh, formally pre-treated. Okay, I, I believe this this was a clarification of what that, that was needed. Uh, I also believe this is an important comment because uh, not all the catalog has available Kangler. I, I, I remember the Professor Stone making a comment in the during the your speech, not in the panel but in the in the chat, that Kangler was necessary, you know, for for this for this issue. We cannot get a low platelet reactivity in patients in, in a fast way unless we use Kangler. And my life Last question, George, is, is more an uh, investigator prone or investigator oriented question. Uh, randomized trials are difficult to arrange, uh, and I believe you know trials in which you have the to add the participation of the pre-hospital uh, system, the ambulance is are even more harder to conduct. So I, I am asking as an investigator also to you, how do you manage to, you know, to arrange all the setting with the pre-hospital pre setting with the ambulance? It was easy, it was difficult. Why are your recommendations for other investigators doing something similar? Yeah, very good question, Luis. And uh, already your question uh, shows that you have uh, uh, many insights and you have uh, taken a lot of hurdles, certainly. So the, uh, in this kind of uh, settings, now look, uh, here in the 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 advantage we have here in the Netherlands is certainly that there is already a pre-treatment scheme in place. So this part we didn't need to train. Um, we have a national protocol where uh, heparin, aspirin, and a P2Y12 inhibitor and oral P2Y12 inhibitor are administered at first medical contact. Uh, what we also have is uh, uh, the first ECG, which is shared with the interventional center. So uh, with questions, um, if there's any question, uh, there's a direct line at, with the interventional cardiologist or at least the cardiology fellow. Okay, uh, having said this, however, uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, we did this in the region of Rotterdam. Uh, there are seven uh, main locations of the ambulance, uh, uh, of the ambulance units, the mobile ambulance units. 350 people are working for the ambulance uh, units. Um, so you have to train all of them. We tackled these issues by training them with the video. They looked at the video, which had all important steps. Uh, we uh, uh, let them see how they crush the tablets. We used uh, to standardize this procedure, a syringe crusher. It's a big syringe, 60 milliliters with some dents. And with 10 rotations, you get these tablets pulverized. Um, once they saw this video, they had to answer some multiple choice question and they were certified to take part in the study. So we had this process to reach 350. However, as you know, to keep uh, the motivation high, you have uh, also to show yourself. So we were visiting uh, the whole investigator group, uh, the local investigator group was visiting these ambulance. Um, uh, locations uh, and was uh, continuing the training, continuing to keep uh, awareness uh, and to um, tackle issues, problems as fast as possible. Okay, very, very interesting, very nice approach. Uh, I believe, you know, the this uh, the strategies trials are, are very difficult to conduct because of this you know you have to train a lot of people you have to organize a lot of different groups that are not always working in the same line so many many thanks for your time uh, george uh, it has been a pleasure to talk with you and uh, we will upload this video to pcr online and for all the people we will hope we can have a presential i don't know Congress in, in 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 Paris next year. We have to see if it is if it's possible or not. But until then, we will do the coverage this way. So keep up with Tom with uh, with us in PCR online. Many thanks to all of you and you, George. Thank you.